Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the simple nav bar using HTML CSS flex box. How to make the simple design. Right? If you are do these things, you will be able to make the website very simple. Right? So this is very important stuff to how to make the things. Okay? So here you can see this is all the things are we have to call it as a one container. It consists of two items. One is a logo, another one is a nav links. Right. Now first I am going to go to go to the G drive and create the folder which is a web side design. Open up the particular folder and type cmd command to open up the C uh, command from window code space dot to open up the our project into a VS Code editor. Now there is a uh, here there is no folders are there. Now here I am going to make a file. So you are going to you have to create index dot html. Okay. So in in VS Code editor, hold on the control key down and press one. So you can get this mark. Hold on the control key down and press one on your keyboard. And your uh, you can get the auto code of HTML. It is simple stuff to have generate the HTML. Okay, this, this is the HTML file standard. It's nothing but a HTML file standard. You have to implement that. When the code is started, you have to implement the HTML file standard. Okay. Now I am going to go to create the new folder, which is which is a CSS. So you have to create the new folder. This is the Website architecture. Okay, so yeah, this is not a CSS folder. Okay, so you have to write, click on this CSS. Here okay, I'm going to create styles dot CSS. This is HTML. Here yeah, this is CSS style sheet style. Okay, the style and HTML. So now what I'm going to do is here. I'm going to make another folder which is for images. Okay, this is for images. This is for style sheet. Right? So now what you're going to do is I'm going to make the images and style sheet. We have created two different folders. Those are for style sheet, another one is for images. So inside the body, let me do the container. Okay, so here you can see. This is the this is called as a container. One container consists of two items. What are the items? This logo, this is one item. Second is a new links. These are the website links. This is second item. So this how we are simply you have to make this. You have to make this. Imagine this is a container. This consists of a container have two items. One is a logo, another one is a new links. Okay, very simple. Right, this is where we have to we have to we just think about it. Okay, now let's go to my code section. Okay, now here go over here. Now here I'm going to go to create a container class. We have create a container. This is a container. This container, this we are putting one container. This container contains it of two items. One is a new bar logo, and another one is a new list. So first item, you have to write first item. Here your first item you have to call it as logo. Okay, so you have to write called as logo. Okay, this is item first logo. First div we have to call it as logo. Second div I just copy and paste it. Second div that's a new links. Okay, so here this container has two items. Instead of writing like this, simply you have to write div dot items. Tab, press the tab key tab uh, and asterisk to press the tab key you can get having these two items so container consists of two items now you can understand contains of one container it consists of inside the concern you are put into two items okay and this is the container inside the container we have a one logo and new box section okay this is a container it consists of two items now you can understand what is the container it is inside the container what is having is 
it, it, it having two items. Okay, but it's a container, it consists of two items. It having two items and it's an item. So the item name we, we item class we can change it. One is uh, first one is the logo, second one I'm going to change it, which is a name. Name link, name bar links, whatever name you can give. That is your wish. You can change the name. Inside the first, now you go to uh, images folder. I already have a logo. I'm going to put into here this one. Come get the logo from my machine. You can put it your own logo. So this logo, I'm just copy. Right click. I'm going to make a copy. Just I just copy this logo. How to put into this VS Code Editor images folder? Very simple. You can follow the step. Right click, select the folder. This is a folder. Right, right click. Reveal in file folder explorer. Go inside the images folder. Paste on it. That's it. That's on it. Okay, perfect. Now we have to call this logo inside this div. Right. So how to call it? We have to implement the IMG tag src equal src inside the double brackets, double quotation mark. Your logos reside on where I inside the images folder. This is a rebuild PNG. This is the file. Okay, this is how we have give the path. You have to specify the width of the image 300 pixel height. I am going to specify as a 300 pixel. Were 100 pixels. This of you have specified the width and height of the logo. Now let's file save all. Now here, if you are going to running the HTML CSS here, there is a extension called which is a live liveware. Here this is the way we can simply your test to live. You type live the live server here live server. Here I already installed. That's why it's telling the this one here after you install you get go live go live okay if you click on that your website is called live so this is the port it will be generated it's very simple here now your logo is here the default your logo is here. okay you can you can understand now what is going on right now you successfully done the logo stuff now i'm going to go to the new links part so how to make the new links so inside this new links first i have to create uh, what are the things we needed we have a inside the new links we have uh, what are things we have a anchor anchor what are the things home so you have to make it as first one is a home uh, inside the anchor tag we have first one is a home you just copy and paste it here Second tab about us. I just want to say about. Third is the service. Copy and paste it below. This one should be contact. So you have to implement those links. File save all and right. That's the thing you have to do it. Okay, this is the new links. I have implemented the four new links. Okay, now you can see it is automatically refreshing here. About this, how the uh, page look like without make the CSS. Only the fresh copy of inside the container. We have uh, two items. One is a logo. Another one is a new links. Okay. So now we have to go to the CSS file and we have to style them. Okay, just style them. The imagine the house. Without applying the paint and all, that is that is no beauty. If the style sheet is, we have to apply for a website for different designing purpose. Okay, now we have to get this like this this one, right? So we have to go get this design, right? So we have a item and this one. So first, what you are going to do is first, I want to body. We have to give the margin and padding. So you have to type body. Open and close bracket body mean our, our website body default we have to setting the margin we have to set the margin zero padding zero then only it will be setting everything 
if you are not set up it will default it take the body okay so we have to set that okay this is not uh, here you no need to dot okay body it automatically takes as a okay so here body we have to call the body so here the uh, website uh, body okay the body part okay so if you don't put this dot okay there are there are some students put dot and testing don't put the dot okay that's why i just removed so here the padding also it got set it here earlier there will be the default padding it is set it now there is no padding there is no padding you can test it here go to here click on that here there is no padding this is the image size will solve things that you can see here. the code here this code snip this display the elements you will be able to see here the uh, home home this all over here you will be able to test that here elements all the things what is the colors they are displaying everything should be there you can you can have it here so boy right now let's go continue now i'm going to go to uh, do it here the margin zero padding zero we have to apply it. after that we have to do the flags we have to write a flags display flags right display flags justify content center you have to put the our uh, container in center horizontally we have to center horizontal center mean here this one is center like this okay it is at the center so you have to call the justify can your body your website at the center right now you have to do the dot you have to write header no not error this is a container sorry so can i am going to name this container this container let me going to style it first i am going to specify the width imagine i need a website for 1000 pixel so i want to do the website for 1000 pixel some other companies are asking for 1000 pixel so how to implement it so first we have to make it the display flags okay, that is important stuff second step i am going to the we have to specify the width as the 100 uh, thousand pixel height let me make it as 100 pixel okay that is your wish what is the wish uh, what is the website you are going to make according to the planning you have to specify the height okay width i am going to give as 1000 pixel background color i am going to make it as black okay black that's it after that align items here align item center you have to make it as a align item center okay the container we have a align and justify container also align and center here also make it as a uh, here alignment align and center you have to make it okay so that's the thing you have to write it over here right so now what you are going to score the styling now we have to give the padding uh padding we have to give uh, right and left is the right side and left side you have to make 50 50 padding okay right and left you have to make it as 50 padding so how to give here here 50 here is default now here your website is look like this now here without setting the padding now here your left side we need a 50 right side we need a 50 so how to give that you have to write 0 50 pixel it, it nothing but the left and right okay 0 50 means it's nothing but a left and right we have to give the padding as 50 now you can see here it is get it simple okay simply you have to get it. now your side is look like so uh, menu is look like good now let's go to the few them let's move the few the part so logo now we are going to style the logo so let's dot logo this dot not comma dot right now here what i'm going to do is here i'm going to do the logo also we have to write flaps 
uh, you have to write 0, 0, you have to write auto. It will automatically take it. Take it as a uh, left side. If you write 0, 50 mean, it's automatically take the position of the logo. It is starting the position. There are two containers. So, here this one, the item will be automatically take the position of the starting position. Right. Like this. Okay. That's how you have to do it a program. Okay. Now, after that, what you are going to do is here, we have to do the another one which is a nav links. Okay. So, nav links, we have to make the things as a nav links. Right. So, right. The nav links. So, where's the nav links? This one. We just copy it. Here I am going to style it. Dot nav links. Open bracket and close bracket. Here I am going to write it over here. Display flex left flex uh, display sorry display flex we no need them we just get rid of these lines after that we have to write it over here gap we have to make it as in between the new new links we have to gap we have to adjustment as 20 pixels there, there, there is a get gap between the new links after that we have a margin left we have set as a uh, margin left auto auto means a left auto it automatically take the take the position of left side okay your new bar take the position of left side earlier you, you see the default it's come as a right side if you make it as left it automatically take as a left auto automatically okay it is left side means left alignment it will be set after the this one should be the logo first auto it will be set as after the 50 it goes over here after that it will be automatically take the right side to right side uh, right side to left side here it automatically take it here it's simple now i what you are going to risk your here okay now i need the logo as a right side what happened so just implement and check whether it's working fine or not. See, it's coming here. It display like this as a right side. Now, if you have put the left side, it look like this way. Okay, first imagine where I, where it would be displayed. You should imagine the things. It is very okay. It is very important stuff. Now, what you are going to? I want to adjust the coloring part. It is new links. Okay. You have to get the inside the A. A means the anchor. I am going to color. Color I am going to set it as. Text the, the decoration none. You have to write none. Your color we have to write. Font size I am going to make it as 20. That's it. That's the thing you have to write it. Okay. The color means the new anchor anchor for anchor it is inside the anchor okay your links color should be make it as white font size should be 12 this how it is displayed i hope you guys you understood the things well this how we have made a half some head up section of the website thank you